And he brought us up to speed on several issues that concern workers, employers of labor, and other social partners. It's good to have you, Sarah, on the program, Your Excellency, sir. It's the third time that um, you would be chairing the ILO Governing Board meeting in the last six months. Can you share with us what your experience has okay, been? Okay, thank you. Yeah, indeed, it's been a, a wonderful experience, uh, not necessarily for me, but for uh, what uh, one has come to re represent the, the nation, uh, the, the African group, as it were, and then, uh, and indeed, to also demonstrate the fact that uh, uh, there is uh, someone at the helm of affairs that needs to bring together uh, all the pronouncements, all the proposals by all the groups, be it uh, the workers, be it employers, then government as it were. So it's been quite a wonderful experience for me. As a person. There is this keen interest on digitization and um, how the world can unearth its potential. Would you want to share a bit of um, what you think should be done in that space for national yeah, development? Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's uh, quite uh, needful that we join the bandwagon. At present, uh, it's rather unfortunate that uh, uh, Across the world, you know, people are generally online, but then you find that at least the 2.6 billion people are offline, you know. So, uh, for instance, uh, in Africa, you know, you, you have a tremendous amount of people that are still not part of this process. So, we, there is nothing we can do, but this uh, goes to the heart of uh, what governments and uh, several organizations must be doing, if the worker, workers' organization and uh, as well as employers, because really, uh, they don't let us concentrate on uh, what uh, some call the dangers of uh, AI. You know, yeah, they, they may be dangerous here and there, but at least you want to concentrate on uh, the one, those areas to the extent that uh, it trends to our benefit is what we should uh, be uh, concentrating on at this at this point in time. But so we we need to begin to, to address you know, uh, the policies around it, and then the skill set to actually uh, uh, provide the leverage for many people. You know, as we go into the AI technologies, looking at this and what we know, and it is the ILO has not uh, uh, kept, you know, regarding what constitutes every dissent about the work itself. So we, you, you also have to know that uh, you know uh, the, the 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 platform economy is there for what how do you account for the all the gaps that are there for now seized with finding you know, call, uh, all groups together to at least understand the need for us to uh, address this aspect of decent work and uh, uh, you know they 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 also they also uh, tend to throw jabs at each other because okay if you say decent work so why are you asking me to to work till 9 p.m i started since morning you know is that decent enough but you see it, it tells uh, a, a lot of stories that look why you are doing it because you're doing it for the uh for the purpose of getting everything untangled and different so but when it is now uh within the ambit of uh, employer uh, worker relationship. Then that, that's that's why we need to really t uh, t uh, speak more on that. And I do believe uh, in the at uh, the next uh, uh, governing body, uh, this issue would come up, and uh, uh, the some are trying to push it forward, some are trying to uh, make it go away. And so, but that's the beauty of uh, ILO itself, you know, because uh, it mimics the. Uh, the the globe itself, you know, it's uh, actually a micro aspect of what you see in the map. In the map. so the, the 
the discussions are not better. We all get it. Social justice is one aspect from democracy, the tripartite body, towards ensuring that um, we have um, decent work. I, I must comment uh, organizational, but uh, everyone that has really been involved in uh, uh, codifying uh, the concept of social justice, you know, be, 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 be that as it may, every pioneer in uh, encounter the, the number of challenges, but the dynamics associated with justice is such that we cannot but address it. A design what is uh, uniform and it's not uni it's universal. What is uh, decent, you know, wage in country A will totally be extravagant in country B, you know, because uh, then the, you find uh, others coming up with all manners of, uh, you know, excuses as it were that look, you no, know, it, 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 it's it's obscene, you know? So uh, we you you live in a country where uh, you pay, for instance, a thousand dollars for accommodation, you know, every month. So. You, but other countries, uh, you, you pay maybe one tenth of that, less, much less. But I'm very careful to avoid certain words. You know, yeah, we all know uh, that uh, a laborer is worthy of uh, his wages. You know, so you you have to also justify the fact that this fellow comes comes around day in day out. You know, so what in in what way are you meeting the needs of uh, this worker? So. For me, decent work also means that you have put in your efforts, you know, as a worker, and then you have to be met, you know, at certain point by the employer. Uh, but, you know, I'm very careful, you know, in uh, uh, ascribing blame to anyone. And that is why it is important to have a body such as ILO, where all this will be discussed, you know, and be, be, trust me, all the parameters are uh, always considered. You know, be the fact that it's a tripartite body system that is being um, that is operated at the ILO. Can you tell, can you bring to four um how we've enjoyed this um these measures or instruments um, while ensuring that policy is being made um meets up to world class standard in terms of labor labor laws? Sorry, sorry let me get to enjoy what uh, instrument. I completely compile the questions the together. Tribal. Yes, I okay, think that is is in full okay. display, of course, and um, that's what makes ILO um, unique compared to some other okay. Um, bodies. Okay. Um, can you tell us, um, as the chair of the governing board, how you've been able to use the, that particular style? Um, how has it helped your leadership so far? As as uh, an individual, you know, so. Uh, you used to uh, addressing only the government, but this this time around, you have uh, uh, to your right the employers, your left the workers, or vice versa. Now you know you now know that uh, their uh, needs must be taken on board, and then their views and whatever proposals are coming from both ends uh, have to be addressed. Properly, we distill and then you, you now bounce the ideas of uh, the government. So, see, as long as uh, you always have a government in the middle, yeah, we, can, we can't uh, do without government. Workers surely know that uh, whatever, you know, uh, to achieve, they have to, you know, keep talking to, to government. And it is important for, uh, for us to ensure that uh, uh, discussion must continue, negotiations and dialogues, you know. So when we keep those conversations open and we keep them, uh, 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 you know, uh, you, you and I understand, you know, ourselves, and then we know that uh, we are going towards a place where, but, and we know there is nothing we can do without each other. So we need ourselves. But you cannot also say that uh, it is only workers and, and government. But where are the employers? You know, MSMEs, where are they? You know, so you have to also ensure that uh, they are uh, involved in the conversations because without uh, uh, this free coming together uh, with the, 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 the one arm of uh, the, the tripartite uh, 
organization is missing and then you can't uh, you cannot take any decision with that so for me it, it makes uh, a lot of sense to understand the nature and the tenor of uh, that organization and uh, the applicability to uh, real life situation is there you know so you 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 just uh, have to know that uh, we have uh, different uh, uh, views of life and then how to now channel that and to arrive at a, at, at, at a solution if I, it uh, if I must, if I, if I must add I think uh, uh, I know is very distinct you know because uh, uh, it is totally Totally different from any, if not all of uh, UN organizations. Uh, so you, 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 uh, I, I do, I do make fun of office that perhaps you need to, you need to teach other UN organizations uh, a lesson or two about uh, how we arrive at uh, uh, solutions and how uh, we come about. Finally, you talk. What has been your institution? But, but you just said that it's a difficult topic. Uh, it's actually a bit difficult, but the uh, how uh, how it was received, you know, by a group and the other group, you know, yeah, yeah, I I I see a lot of uh, tension around. For now, uh, the the atmosphere is a bit toxic. But look, we we're talking about uh, uh, an issue as far back as. You know, 1986. So, but but there are other other about it. You know, to 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 ensure that uh, everyone, you know, we all feel a sense of belonging. You know, as a member of this uh, global body. So uh, I do believe uh, that uh, in its entirety, you know, there is nothing wrong. You know, in uh, finding uh, an agreeable solution. Yeah, as I said, uh, the the atmosphere is a bit toxic for now, but. Uh, and we'll continue with that this afternoon, uh, incidentally. So I, and that's why I wouldn't want to say much about it, but to say that uh, that it is in the interest of everyone. Uh, you say no, no, no child left behind. You know, so to ensure that uh, we we get uh, the max, maximum benefit from the organization to which all all of us have uh, uh, been committed to uh, in the last. Uh, uh, how many years now? 1990? Yeah, so so it's... Uh, so we're uh, three decades. Let's yeah, just leave it at more than three yeah, decades. Exactly, exactly. So this is a uh, wonderful organization that uh, must always find solution to its many challenges. But the dynamics are there, are there to ensure that uh, we put in uh, the, those uh, missing pieces uh, and come to uh, a solution at the end of the day. Thank you very much for your time. It was an interesting conversation I had with you. And good luck on these so many other meetings that you'll be having as a chair. Thank and you, congratulations you. to Nigeria once again. Yeah, yeah. Con congratulations to Nigeria. And uh, also, I have to seize this opportunity to thank uh, uh, His Excellency President Bola uh, Ahmed Tinubu, uh, uh, GCF. Uh, you know, uh, bigger. ILO uh, 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 ask you to champion a cause, but it's another you representing the country for for the, the the largeness of his heart to uh, ask me to uh, uh, remain to uh, complete this uh, assignment. So I have to seize this opportunity. I I, I know he's so busy. Uh, this may be lost in transit, but I, I just want to seize this opportunity to thank uh, His Excellency Mr. Ben and then uh, 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 everyone from uh, the uh, Federal Ministry of Labor uh, to uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, everyone that is involved. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>